Merry Monday, motherfuckers. Just got back from work, it's about 20 past four. I'm chilling with the cat again. It was all right day at work, to be honest. Um, my head is pounding. Because that weekend just gone, fuck me. A lot of work was done. Um, and not a lot of sleep was had. I actually might go to the gym just now. Because thinking about it, I wasn't going to go to the gym before. And I thought, like, no, I'll save it for early morning. But no, I'm going to go now. That fucking leg session was ridiculous. It wasn't even that heavy or that long, but the intensity I hit it was pretty nice. Like I started off with a 50 minute run. What I wanted to do, cause I'm trying to get into cardio. I was like, we'll run for half an hour. Cause that's what I've usually done in the past. And then I was getting to about 10 minutes and I was just like, actually, usually I'd be struggling by this point, which is embarrassing, but I'm doing all right. Let's, instead of going for 30 minutes, let's just try and see how long it takes us to run 5k at like eight pace because i'm trying to find my pace right now where i can consistently run the same throughout uh, rather than just trying to like blitz it and i know eight's probably really slow but i don't care because i've just started running and you've got to make it easy otherwise the habits won't stick um so then i'm just going to sort of always trying to beat that time so it's like next time instead of going oh let's go for nine let's just put it the speed on 8.1 so that's it just incremental steps to improve atomic habits if you've not read that book go read it change your life um but yeah did that then went back to squats because i've done those in fucking ages about two weeks i think um did 100 kg for four probably could have gone for more but again i'm just not trying to blow my knees out because your knees are gone you're fucked um and then i did it did a bit of leg press some calves and then the sus machine of course and that was it really um I've come home, I'm going to upload that footage and I'm actually going to edit it this time, just a little bit, to save myself on the weekend um, and I will get back to you once I actually have some. It's a little bit peak really, um, right after that I said I was going to like edit, I just I went for like an hour's nap, my head was pounding too hard but I've just done it now, um, I've organised all the shit, if I can focus, there we go, my graphics, got the um, days of the week. It's so irritating how Friday is first, and I, I don't know how you change it. I don't think you can. Um, and then obviously audios. But the problem is, when I went to go add some footage now, iCloud being iCloud, they've not all uploaded yet, so I literally can't edit anything on that. Um, not even the clip from this morning has been uploaded. Real quick as well, before I leave it off for today, that... I was going to say pre-workout, that like energy drink, I had the bang energy, I think it was called like Rainbow Unicorn or something, it was pretty good, I'd give it like a 5 or a 6 out of 10, and you might think that's harsh, like as in what, how can it be good, I think the focus it gave me was really good, um, like really fucking good, the flavour however, I would describe it, it tasted like a flat copper burg, that was less, what's it called, well, it just didn't taste of alcohol, really. That's how I describe it. So, like, if you've never had a Copperberg, the flavour might be quite enjoyable. It was quite sweet. It tasted like a strawberry Copperberg. But, but all I could think of was that I was just drinking a flat alcoholic, well, non-alcoholic Copperberg. So it was kind of putting me off. Uh, but the focus was really good in it. The energy, I didn't really notice a spike in that. But 
yeah if you want focus it's an all right drink flavor was a bit iffy a bit too sweet um but overall i give it like a five or six maybe 5.5 .5. I just learned probably one of the most important lessons, like I've heard it said before, but now it's really coming to sort of, not fruition, I don't know if that's the right word, but just real life case study of like, it doesn't matter what's going on in your life, no one cares. Um, everyone's got their own shit to do, regardless of how you feel, regardless of what you don't want to do. The sun's still going to come up in the morning, people got to go to work, they got their own shit to deal with. Um, so obviously it sucks to have that on you but you have to then use that as motivation as discipline as power as anything you can get your hands on if you feel angry if you feel sad or if you feel happy about it um just use it use it as fuel and fucking make that fire roar all right that's what you gotta do that's what you gotta do people gotta go to work in the morning the sun's still gonna come up get after it work was actually all right today um still a little bit iffy but we make do. It was, you know, gotta be grateful it was better than yesterday. Right now, what I'm actually gonna do, instead of just saying I'm gonna edit some integrity rolls, I'm actually gonna do a little time lapse. So let's just go to that. I just finished editing those three videos. Gonna have to do some more in a bit. Um, but right now, I, I'm gonna go for a walk because I learned it from an editor, I think he's called Finzar. And he said, like, every 45 minutes, just go on a walk. Even if it's five minutes, ten minutes, just get your creative juices flowing. And that's what I'm going to do. I got back from that walk about 15 minutes ago. Felt pretty good. Felt uh, my creative juices flowing, as they, as they say. Now I'm going to eat some dinner before I go to bed. And uh, it is the most unappetizing looking meal. As I'm looking down at it, I'm going to show you. It's like fucking soil. Uh, do you know what that is? They're just straight beef mince. Because I didn't have time on Sunday to cook it all into a nice bolognese. It's the most... Just, I mean, just look at this taste. It's like fucking soil. Crumbly as fuck. And just it. you got to make do with what you got to do. And what you've got, sorry. I added a bit of sauce in it. <laughs> and a bit of salt. But one thing I'm looking forward to is that bad boy there. That is my favourite flavour of Monster. The green one. If you never had one, it tastes like... um. Those juicy drop pops, the apple flavour. If you've never had one of those, then you just gotta drink one of these and uh, find out how good it is. But yeah, these are fucking unreal. Currently Thursday morning, it's like 20 to 8. Mate, a long week so far. Longest week in a long time. Thankfully, I'm on a 10 shift so I can get a bit of a line, but oh my god, I can't wait for the weekend. Fuck. Just edited this one. It's not even a video, it's literally just a picture of my pal Noah with his nice little quote. Sometimes when you're in a dark place, you think you've been buried, but actually you've been planted. That's a powerful quote, because there's a lot of times you feel like the world's fucking on top of you, but if you have that mindset where you say, I'm being planted, I'm gonna grow and I'm gonna bloom into a fucking awesome tree or something, I don't know. Whatever plant you, uh, you wanna be, or a tree, I don't know. If you have that mindset, you will go far in life. Um, but yeah, I don't know when we'll upload that one, but if you're watching the YouTube, you got a sneak peek, so you know, you'll always get a little hidden behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go eat, I think, the rest of that, that mince meat that I didn't eat last night. Fuck. Got pasta, and then I've also got the mince. If you wonder why I'm not putting them together, it's because that shit is so dry that it literally just flops off the pasta, so it's not even worth it, but... Yeah, at least it's, um, I mean, that just still just looks like one of the most boring fucking meals you've ever seen in your life, but it does the trick, so I can't complain. Work was fucking actually decent today. When I say not a lot, not a lot happened, I mean, like, everyone was just nice. No just ridiculous bullshit going on. It was just a, a pleasant day at work. After this, I'm going to go upstairs and edit something, try and get, because I don't think I edited the past two days. Um, so I need to upload all the footage and make sure I'm at least just getting ahead to save myself for the weekend. Just finished work. Well, I said that was about an hour ago. Um, awesome day. Like all the calls, just phenomenal. Not one of them was a bad one. I'm gonna go celebrate and hit a nice leg day. And I don't want to jinx it, 
but hopefully we'll hit a nice gym session with Noah tomorrow. Unless he bails out again, fucking old bastard. That was a heavy week. And obviously we've still got two days to film some shit, but the working week, that was fucking long. I'm knackered. And I didn't film anything really today because I couldn't be fucking arsed on me, I'll be honest. I didn't want to film myself eating because I only felt like a shit from the gym. I'm going to fucking read. And then I'm going to bed. I'm, my pal Noah said be there for nine, so I'm I'm fucking sleep until like eight. I think I, I just need to recharge. Just fuck. Look at that! What a beautiful Saturday morning. And um, Noah's actually going to the gym, so that's good. And I've got one of these. I bought it yesterday, so I wouldn't have to go today. I don't recommend that flavor at all. That was like drinking vape juice. Oh fucking hell! But. Sometimes the disgusting smell of ones will give you the best, like, correct energy. So, praying that's what happens. Otherwise, that was just. Oh. I'm doing alright. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> got back from the gym my chest was heavy that session was just ridiculous fuck me but yeah I'm, I'm glad I finally got to go to the gym with Noah it's been like three weeks always a good session and then I went to the dentist after and everything seems to be all right just booked another checkup for like six months so hope it's all right <laughs> but uh what I'm gonna do now is wait for my mum to finish cleaning downstairs and then I'm gonna make like a disgusting one of them like 1,200, 500 calorie 
protein shakes. We'll, we'll, we'll cut to them. Things are kind of tough right now. Uh, got a lot of decisions to make. So, what do you do when you're stressed? You get fucking McDonald's. With some sauce. Sauce it up. Yeah. Golden nuggets. Right. It is coming towards the end of Saturday night. It's five to ten. Got about a pint and a half, maybe. I don't really know. Of protein shake. My least favorite thing to do in the world. Like, I can't sip them. They're not that nice tasting. It's not like sipping a milkshake. So I have to chop them, and I hate it. And I'm sure a lot of you out there also hate chopping protein shakes, they suck. But you've got to do it, you've got to get them down some way. So if you hate them, let's do it together. Um, I'm gonna have a song playing in my ears just to fucking get me through this, because I fucking hate it. But yeah. All right. Cheers. Round two. Thing is as well, the, the, that's not even exactly the worst bit. The worst bit's like 10 minutes from now when you feel it all just settling in there. But, oh, fucking hell, that was... That was rough. But yeah, if you did that, legend. It's currently quarter to eight on Sunday. I spent probably since like five editing, like 5 p.m. I didn't even start because it's been fucking too busy. Jesus, like, I'm so knackered. That whole week was just nuts. Um, and it just shows, like, the domino effect. All it took was Monday the videos just not to upload when I was really like motivated and whatever to just start doing some editing like I couldn't do it and then it was like oh Tuesday came and then now you've got two days it's just like oh. this next week we'll try and be better at that and whatever it takes we will just like if I have to send them to Google Drive then I'll do that instead of waiting for them to come off iCloud because fuck doing this again um, but yeah god I'm, I'm just you know what honestly I'm hungry I'm gonna go eat some dinner finish the rest of this this vlog this video whatever you want to call it and then i'm going to sleep to be honest i will catch you next week and obviously for myself it will be monday thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy it please like and subscribe until next time take care of yourselves peace